Hello. <coughs> oh, jeez. Uh, okay. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. I'm here. All right. Hey, what's up? It's Tuesday. Ugh, man. I'm, like, drowsy. I'm always drowsy on Tuesdays. <laughs> I feel like Mondays are exhausting now because of the the streams and everything. And, like, it's fine. But also, I'm still tired now. <laughs> I woke up really late today. And, like, in my defense, I had a really fun dream. <laughs> you know? I had a, a, a cool time while I was sleeping. It was very nostalgic and interesting, I feel. Oh, fuck. Um, I want to fix something, but I don't remember how to do that. Um, where do I? Hmm. Let me see. Right here. Okay. I should take the time to, like, properly <laughs> make sure that this actually works. Uh, do I have anything that's, like... Um, wow. Oh, God. No, it's not that... Hmm. How do I do this? <laughs> um. I need to make more things <laughs> and actually <laughs> work. Do I have any other gifts just in? I do. Wait, hang on. <laughs> okay, hang on. What ones am I using at the moment? Okay, sorry. I'm like messing with some settings stuff. I haven't used the other one. Excellent. Okay, hang on. <laughs> okay. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Change the media for this one. I don't want to use that one. I want to use something else. I can use... Okay. Uh, I'm just going to put that in for search. Ooh, where are these? Wah, no. Oh my god, this is adorable. Where is... Okay. Where do I find it? Hmm. It's just in my downloads? What? Why is it just in my downloads? Whack. Why? <laughs> Where did I get these from? What? <laughs> Whatever, I guess. Okay. Hang on. What ones do I have? I have that one. Okay. Oh, a lamb. So cute. Pete. Okay. Okay, cool. Not what I was intending to use, but that'll work. Alright, I don't know where the other stuff went. <laughs> I'm gonna 
yoink these and pop them in here. Bonk. And I'm not sure where the other thing. Why is it here? This is weird. No, it's not that. Let me see if I can find what I'm looking for in you. No, weird. Hmm. Odd. Whatever. This will work. <laughs> I'm gonna use this one. Done. No, change the media. Change the media. Use this one. Yes. Excellent. Okay. I cannot see. I cannot see. <laughs> Shit, sorry. I know that the stream started like five minutes ago, six minutes ago at this point, but like I'm looking through some stuff to find some things. Give me like a minute. <laughs> sorry, I should have done this before, but I didn't. So, oops. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, let's see. Hi. Any more fun things somewhere? I like how I just have a folder in in my Soul Studios folder on my computer that just is labeled ass. <laughs> There's only gonna be a specific set of people who understand what that's about. <laughs> that's fine. Maybe I'll leave the audio for now. I need to actually like look through some stuff and figure out what I want for the audio for this. But I think that this will be fine. Done. Excellent. I'm going to test some widgets. Excellent. What a, a random decision to make. It's slightly off. Why is it slightly off? That's why it's slightly off. Oops. Ooh, excellent. Can I really get around that? I think it's not. It looks like it's fine. Testing the host thing again. Yeah, we can see it. Cool. Alright. Excellent. Okay, sorry. I just wanted to check to make sure all of that was working the way that I wanted it to work. Let me make sure. Yeah, that's. Wah! No, stop that. Go back. Go this way. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Starting the stream properly. I don't know how long I'm going to be here. It's already five. And I don't want to be here for super long. Uh, but we'll see how that works out. I'm playing Pathway today. <laughs> going back to actually streaming and stuff. I was uh, gonna do a usual thing of like playing Stardew Valley and stuff, but meh. Meh. Nah. I, uh... Oh. I know why that's doing that. Stop that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna play Pathway. Because I feel like it. Why not? You know? I think it'll be fun. So let's open up Pathway. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Jeez. Everything is... I'm... I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired, man. I'm sleepy. I have to open up the stream on my phone. Oops. Oh fuck, I did not check the audio. Okay, I will do that in a moment when we have the game open and everything, so that's just going to have to wait a second. It looks weird like that. I like it the other way. Okay, 
Wasser. Ups. Ups. Ach, es klappt. Du, du, du. Okay. Nah. Sorted. It's fine. Fixed. Sorted. Sorry. Bit off. It's not early. I have not. <laughs> it's the afternoon. It's 5 p.m. I have only been awake for like two and a half hours. I woke up late today. <laughs> but sometimes that happens. It's fine that it happened. It's totally fine. <laughs> okay, let's just pop in to Steam. Did I do it right? Yes. Okay. Cool. Whew. Man, I also just had soup. <laughs> it makes me a bit sleepier. It's not helping. Um, I have to put on my headphones to hear the audio for like a second. Hang on. I can finally put my headphones properly on their hook behind my desk again. I haven't been able to do that recently because there's been a tree back there. Which was fun, but you know, I like being able to keep my headphones there. Sorry for that little bit of noise. I had to grab the connector hook thingy for my phone so that I can actually plug my headphones in because they don't have a headphone jack in the iPhones anymore. Thanks, Apple. I can wait a minute for the game to properly start. You know what I've been kind of in the mood for as well? One of those like alchemy games. I'm tempted to play uh, Kinseed, I think is what it's pronounced as. I started playing it at one point and then I stopped because I was like, eh, it was one of those days where I wasn't sure what I wanted to actually play. And like technically that's one of those days as well is today. But like, eh, I, I mentioned playing Pathway recently and I figured like, eh, Pathway's fun. If it's gonna load. I can like just barely hear my voice through my headphones. Without like... Man, no wonder I can hear it through my headphones immediately. Like, it was on high volume. I'm trying to like make sure that the volume of my headphones is still like decent without me having all that like horrible background noise that I noticed was happening in a lot of my videos because that like irritates me and I don't want that to be a problem anymore the loading screen has changed that's nice refreshing there's no audio still so we still have to wait for some audio that's okay we're just waiting so that we can test the audio properly it's just gonna take a minute it's fine okay straighten out your spine straighten out your spine Advice for you too. Straighten out your spine, because, ow, that's a a reminder. Unless your spine just isn't straight, that happens. Mine is pretty curved, but like, do your version of straightening out your spine. <laughs> Remember not to slouch, at least every once in a while. It's good for your shoulders. <laughs> Ugh. Man, I'm like trying to wake up for the stream. I'm doing my best. I have a calendar that I need to replace on my wall. Oh, the audio is here. Cool, 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 cool. It has owls on it. The calendar, <laughs> not the audio. Okay. Let me see how the audio sounds. Wait, I'm gonna... It's just so that I can, like, properly hear everything. Okay. Now we can test the audio levels.
it's a little bit too loud in comparison to my voice. That's fine. We can fix that. All right. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Oh, God. Stop. <laughs> okay. Turn desktop audio down a little bit. That should be fine. Hopefully. I think it is. Wow, it fully shut the thing. Um, <laughs> I don't want it to be, like, too quiet. But also, like, it doesn't need to be super loud anyways. You don't really hear, like, voice acting or anything like that. So, like, it should be fine? Either way, you know? It should be alright. Alright, clicking buttons so I know what that sounds like on the audio thing. I'm just gonna talk at this volume while we play the game. It's totally fine. Okay. I also had to, like, turn the audio up on, like, my end so I can hear it properly, because I feel like it's super quiet, like, a second ago. I might change that as we go, but I don't think that affects the actual, like, way that it sounds for the thing. Okay. It should be fine. All right. I'm tempted to turn it down just a little bit, though. Okay, hang on. Ugh. Stop that. Stop freaking out. Calm down. Relax. It's just to make sure that you really can, like, hear me, you know? Like... This audio can get a little overbearing, and like, my voice can only be so loud. <laughs> so, without me just like, straight up screaming. And like, I don't want to scream the entire way through. I feel like that's going to be like, a lot, you know? So, just to make sure that it's really audible. Alright, here. Okay. It sounds like it's fine. So I'm going to say that it's fine. And I'm not going to worry about it. And I know I have a hook to put my headphones on, but I'm not going to do that right now because I don't feel like it. <laughs> Alright. No, don't pause the stream. I need to be able to see what's happening. Stop that. <laughs> okay. Alright. Oh, do it. Do it. Cancel. Relieve. Okay. Um... Do we want a new profile just for the stream? Because the Sarah Lynn one is mine. I'm going to do a new profile. This will be... Um... I don't know. This will be my, my evil twin. Evil Sarah Lynn. Alright. I'm not doing it on hardcore mode. Like, that, <laughs> that sounds rough. <laughs> like, it's already kind of difficult as is. Maybe in the future as, like, a challenge to myself. I mean, provides a different rule set to standard profiles with increased difficulty and permadeath. Oof. Experienced players only. Yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> it's pretty... It, it's very forgiving that your characters can die. And I don't want them to die permanently. That feels kind of... Well, it's not the biggest thing in the world if they die permanently, actually. Like, thinking on it. I just worry about, like, the, the new ones. Yeah, this will be Evil Sarah Lynn. If we feel like doing hardcore mode coming back to this later, then we'll do, like, I don't know, dead Sarah Lynn. I don't fucking know. Like, <laughs> just to go off of that. All right. New adventure. We're starting from the beginning. Yes, I know. I know how the game works. <laughs> Mostly. I vaguely remember how this works. All right. First adventure. A friend in need. Uh, Casablanca, Morocco. You receive a desperate plea for help. Your old friend Morton has been abducted by the Nazis and taken to the Moroccan desert. You decide to travel to North Africa immediately to find Morton before the Germans execute him. Yep, this is this is a game where you fight Nazis. <laughs> That's what this is about. Yes, game, I know how this works. Alright, who do we want? Okay, so from like previous experience, because I have played this game 
a bit. All right, so I want him. Yeah, he's he's great actually. <laughs> he's he's fantastic. I like him a lot. So I will have him. Um, just for like a, a brief explanation of my thought process of why I'm p choosing who I'm choosing and everything. Okay, so this. This is a, a classic strategy game. You got all of these, like, their stats and everything. You got specific skills that allows them to use specific items. And you have specific perks that give them, like, certain things. So this guy is resilient, so he receives less damage. He's a great tank. I will tell you right now. He's, like, the best tank. I use him all the time. Uh, he has 20% damage versus animals, which is great because sometimes you have to fight dogs. And, like, stuff like that. Uh, and he may use the survivalist event options, which is a thing where, like, um, as you go through all of the, the story stuff, as you, like, wander through the map and everything, you have, like, events that happen, obviously, and you have to, you have to choose which option seems wisest at the time, and you get extra options if you have specific, you know, perks on your certain characters that you have with you and your team. So, having ones with various perks, like, the medical expert perk, or the engineer perk, is great, as well as the survivalist one. So, she's good. It's always good to have someone who can use the health stuff just on hand. And also someone who can use a pistol is also a good thing, I feel, because it's usually, like, faster. She can also use a disintegrator, though, and disintegrator is actually pretty decent, depending on which ones you get. But they're- I feel like they're not as good as having the pistol, honestly, because you can do two shots in one turn, which is pretty great for this. This is a, a turn-based- strategy game just so you know but yeah so she's she's good i forget okay so is it him or was it him no he's kind of shit yeah i i would rather have him so he can use the ancient languages event and he can use brood events yeah and he has like the ability to repair stuff the ability to throw grenades if he really like want if you want to switch out his needle and thread for a grenade and he can use a shotgun or an assault rifle okay but he has a shotgun right now. Yeah, so these are- this is my usual default team, really. Like, some of these guys are decent, but I do usually use these guys. And this fourth slot is for if you find an adventure while you're wandering around, then you can put them in the fourth slot. So, like, uh, it, this usually doesn't happen in the very first adventure, but, like, in later adventures, you can run into, like, recruitment events where you can save one of your friends. And, like, the first one I ever got was this guy. Well, technically speaking, the first one I ever got was when most of my team had died except for uh, him. <laughs> and he was alone, but about to go into the boss fight. And I was like, well, I guess we'll die. But then, like, right before we went there, a dog appeared. Like, uh, I think it's just Fenrir, I think. Yeah, like, that, that old chestnut. And he was, like, a runaway uh, <laughs> German shepherd that the Germans had had before. And he joins your team. And he's, like, super OP. And that's the only way that I got through that entire, like, <laughs> event, you know? Okay, so yeah, this is this is our team. So, we're gonna go forward. We shall depart. Okay. So, I, I know how to play this game. I played it a decent amount. It's really fun, though, to just replay through anyway, so I don't really mind going through everything again. I've done this quest a few times. You take a break in a provincial backwater a few miles beyond Castle Blank. This is the last outpost of civilization. Beyond this point is nothing but merciless desert. Wharton is out there, somewhere. Okay, somewhere in Morocco. You check your gear one last time and start the engine. Your journey begins. Man, I also just love the style of this game. It's great. Uh, like, the side images are always great. The the dialogue's fantastic and all of the, like, little footnotes there and everything. Okay. Yes, I know. No, don't show more tips. I know how to play the game. It's fine. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Alright. So, we... Wait, basic summary of how this works. You click on the location you want to go to. It uses up one fuel to go to each location. Some locations will take certain resources from you. Like, usually it'll be like, oh, you ended up in, like, the salt flats or whatever the fuck it was. And, like, you have to use three more fuel to get through or something like that, so you'll lose a little bit extra. Or you can gain 
resources depending on what ends up happening. This is like your your inventory thing. So you have some car storage and you have valuables that can just fill up with stuff that you can just like get money from when the entire quest is over. Or if you run into a merchant. And then, you know, all of these people and you can hop into their skill tree and work on their skills as they level up and everything. The usual stuff. So, that's how the game works, just overall. Um, I don't know. We want to aim for... We want to aim for... Yeah, there appears to be something interesting at this location. We want to aim for those locations, because usually there's some good shit there. And, like, one of our main things that we're doing as we go through all of these quests is to get good equipment for our characters. Like... We want better weapons, better guns, better knives, uh, better medical stuff, better <laughs> repair and, like, grenades. We also want better armor, all that. <laughs> oh, jeez. Sorry. I just ate not that long ago. Okay. And we just want to level them up and everything. So, we also want to get more money. Because getting more money will help us, like, up the storage for the car and also just, like give us more stuff to work with if we run out of fuel and end up at a merchant's place. So, I'm going to be sparse with the fuel right now, so I'm not going to go that direction. Okay, an abandoned camp. Behind some brushwood, you discover an abandoned Wehrmacht camp. Wehrmacht camp. I don't know how to pronounce German. <laughs> you look around carefully, but there is no trace of the garrison. Shrugging, you search the supplies the Germans left behind. Okay. Loot, fuel, supplies. Excellent. Done. Always good to pick up literally everything that you run across. <laughs> okay. Nothing happened there. Oh, no, it's loading. Okay. A deserted village. Even from a distance, you can tell that something is wrong in the village ahead of you. A ghostly silence lies over the place. The huts seem deserted, and there is no trace of its inhabitants. <laughs> There's no trace of the inhabitants. They are all corpses. <laughs> The desert wind carries the bleeding of a stray goat somewhere in the distance. You swap nervous glances. What happened here? Ooh, we can just use this. Yeah, it generally yields a positive outcome, but in some instances may result in unexpected situations. It's true. We're going to assess the situation. Right, there are corpses. Carefully and keeping to a safe distance, you skirt around the outer buildings of the village. There is no doubt that this place was still inhabited just a few hours ago. Right, it's filled with corpses. <laughs> As you cast your eyes over the huts, you suddenly realize that what you initially believed to be shapeless, randomly scattered piles of rags are actually the mortal remains of the villagers. Yes. <laughs> what is that terrible smell? That can't be healthy. Either we wait until it passes, or we at least cover our faces with something. Um... I'm curious. Cover your faces. You decide to investigate the mysterious village. You bind claws over your faces to provide at least some kind of makeshift protection. You do not find any survivors. The bodies lie in the sand, lifeless, but with no sign of what might have killed them. Whack. In the center of the village, you see a Wehrmacht jeep, surrounded by the bodies of several German shoulders. German shoulders, yes. <laughs> Next to the car, you see a pit that the Germans must have excavated. The tip of a pitch black obelisk protrudes from the sand. Oop. <laughs> You listen to your instincts and leave the wretched place behind you. You will not be able to solve this puzzle. Before you leave, you search the soldier's vehicle for anything useful. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna take everything. Yoink. Instead of clicking everything individually. I'm trying to get used to using my mouse as well, because I'm using a new one. <laughs> so it's, it's a bit weird. It's a little bit clunkier than what I'm used to. I have to get adjusted. As you sneak up on the fortified camp, you are spotted. The resting soldiers are as surprised as you are. They frantically grab their weapons and open fire. You rush for cover and return fire. Cool. <laughs> Alright, this is the fun part. <laughs> so this is the planning stage. Where we can start putting things down. And here are all of our, our dudes that we're fighting. And it lists them off here, too. Even, like, what they are specifically. Okay. So, snipers can hit you long range, unsurprisingly. And shock troopers don't take as much damage from shotguns as most characters normally would. They also have, like, their shields and stuff. Which is mostly why they don't take as much damage from shotguns, but yeah. 
Okay, where do we want to put everything? So... He needs to be close, so we're gonna give him a starting position there. I'm gonna put her here. And... I'm gonna put him here. Alright. I'm gonna make this go by faster. Yeah, this is the, the fun part. This is the turn-based strategy part of the game. Alright. Let's see. Um... I can hit this dude from here. Go for it. Ah, not quite dead. Unfortunate. Um... I'm gonna say go ahead and reload. So we only have a shotgun that has two ammo capacity. That's not great. We can hit the one dude from here. Let's finish him off. First blood! Kill a Nazi. I've done so. Okay. Um. Do I want to send her somewhere else? There are no dogs, so that's not going to help. Eh. Reload. She's in a pretty safe position anyways. Um. I can put him here. I can't put him here, because there's a barrel in the way, and, like, those do explode. So I would prefer not to have that happen. Um. I'm just gonna have him hunker down. Alright. Rather him just stay safely over there. And that's why. <laughs> yeah. Little bit of armor. Missed. Nice. Alright. Good. Okay. This is fine. I'm gonna... <sighs> this is not going to help a lot. What would be more effective though, really? Like, I could just punch him. I don't know how much damage that would do, though. And, like, currently we are at least in a decently safe location. Let's see that. Ow, fuck. I forgot that was there. Well, we can still hit the barrel. <laughs> at least now we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> I can move him away. Do I want to move him away? Hmm. He's fine where he is. Alright. Um, let's use double shot. Yeah. Not surprising that that one missed. That's okay. Can I get both of them with this? No. Damn. Oh well. Whatever. Um, aim for this guy? He doesn't have a lot of health left. Okay. Anchor down, because you're right next to a dude. And I can't do anything with his except for reload. We'll just have him reload. Might as well use up the, the turn. Um, I don't need him to move. Reload again. He lost two shots in that one. Alright. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Rude. Okay. So... If I have her go here, she can shoot both of them as a possibility, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, except she doesn't have double shot right now. Well, whatever, she's still pretty defended here. Um, I really need that guy to go down. So I feel like he has no ah, real, like, defense. I'm gonna... Should I just stab this guy? I'm just gonna try and stab him. Um... Yeah, we're gonna go over here. Stab. Yeah, it does better with shock troopers than the guns do. It's unfortunate that this guy doesn't really have the ability to stab. <laughs> but that's okay. I could have him go over here. Yeah, I'm gonna have him go over here and take care of the sniper. Bonk. There we go. <laughs> Alright, excellent. Alright. Cool. I'm gonna have him repair his stuff, actually. Yeah. Because we don't really need him to do anything else in particular at the moment. Okay. He's over there. Go shoot him. Ah, you missed. You missed. Well, um... 
get farther away from him, I'd say. <laughs> Just as a precaution. Him, though, I'm gonna send him closer. Can I stab him from here? No. I don't think I can cleave him either. Unfortunate. Whatever. It's fine. At least do a little bit of damage to him. Um, I'm gonna have him reload. Okay, done. Really? Rude? I just did that. Ho? Can I just punch him? I'm gonna punch him. Punch. It's about as good as <laughs> using a gun at this point with this guy. Alright, stab. Um... Yeah, he'll- he'll go down. Cool. Reload all weapons. Back to the map. But yeah, that's the combat system. da -da! <laughs> Jazz hands. I quite like this game. <laughs> I know it might not be super interesting for, like, everybody, but I like the game. Ooh, we got some new armor. Medium armor. I think- does our- who uses medium armor? Do we have someone who uses medium armor? Yes, don't we? I thought we did. Or is this light armor? No. We'll hold on to this then. Give it to someone who does use it when we get back home. Okay, moving on. Hmm, do we want to go down or up? Hmm. The vultures circle in the sky up ahead of you. You know what that means in the desert and decide to investigate. After a few hundred yards, you come across the remains of a small squad of German soldiers between two dunes. The men have been dead for several days, seemingly dying of thirst. But as you start to search their bodies, to your astonishment, one of them moans in agony. Um. Let's give him first aid. Why not? We have the option. Natalia quickly improvises some cold compresses for the man and gently gives him some water. The soldier soon regains consciousness. Engine failure. The captain ordered us to stay. Had to take our fate into our own hands. Too late. With these words... The man rears up one final time, then his labored breathing ends. <laughs> the dead man's finger points to a rock formation that rises from the monotonous desert landscape a few miles away. You are confused. Do you want to investigate the rock formation or continue on your journey? Examine the rock formation, obviously. Among some rocks, you come across the lifeless body of a Wehrmacht soldier. Uh, officer, my bad. <laughs> the man lies on his stomach. The sand around him is tinged brown. Captain Von... I'm not going to say that. Left us no choice. I had to put him down like a mad dog. Whack. You, uh, you turn to see a German soldier leaning against the rocks in the shadows. His uniform is covered in blood. Unfortunately, but did not go without a fight. Leg wound. I'm afraid it's infected. The man shrugs as if in apology. Then he continues, his face distorted with pain. If I did not do it for myself, my journey ends here. Oh, I did not do it for myself. My journey ends here. Well... With a little luck, at least my comrades managed to escape. Do you have any water for me? Hesitantly, you give the man some water. He continues in a broken voice, but this time his words are incoherent and delirious. North Africa, secret operation, excavations in the desert, worldwide. Uh, Dr. Polyakowski said, Stalin's excavations, incredible artifacts in the Russian Arctic Ocean, great deeds. Atlantis will rise again from the waves, and we shall be gods. Valkyrium, Valkyrium shall rule the world of tomorrow. That sounds vaguely familiar. Um, <laughs> breathing heavily, the man pauses. For a second, he appears to return to consciousness. Finally, he gives a tortured laugh. Blood gushes from his nose. Why? <laughs> what happened? I thought he just had an infection in his leg. Uh, gods of a distant past, and here I die in the heat of the sun like Icarus, who plunged to his ruin through his arrogance. Tell Magda, I have always loved her. <laughs> With these final words, the man dies. You search him. His papers identify him as a young lieutenant in counterintelligence. What could his fevered rantings mean? You bury his, bod his body in a makeshift grave and leave with the dead man's words ringing in your ears. Whack. Uh, circling vultures put us on his trail. What? Hubris. I have not gotten that before. Whack. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. Alright, well. Um... I'm gonna go up. There's more things that I can see immediately up there, so I'm gonna go that way. 
Okay. Even from a distance, you can see that something is wrong in the village ahead of you. As you approach cautiously, using the low walls for cover... So you approach cautiously, using the low walls for cover. I can't read! <laughs> okay. Your instincts did not deceive you. A group of German soldiers... God. <laughs> German shoulders have occupied the village and are rounding up its inhabitants. Ah, oh, bummer. Yeah, that's the beginner guy. Like, the very first one on the list. Damn. Oh well, whatever. We can just attack. You check your ammunition and take your positions. Then you open fire. The farmers seek shelter in their huts when the Germans return fire. Always start a fight whenever you have the opportunity, is my opinion. <laughs> IRL and in-game. <laughs> Fighting should be your first instinct at every time. Okay. Where are we? Where is everybody? We have a few dudes. A couple of shock troopers. Snipers. And just some normal Nazi troopers. Okay, that's fine. Where are they? There's a dude there. One dude over there. There's none that are super close. There's a couple there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's all of them. There's only one dude, really, <laughs> over there. Most of them are on this side. Okay. Okay. Well. Um. Hmm. This is not a great cover spot. That's unfortunate. Um. Hmm. I'll put him here. She can go here. I'll leave him there. Okay. Cool. Okay. Let's see. What do we want to do? All of them are pretty far away, like, comparatively. Um. This is a better location. Um, I'm gonna put him here. He's gonna hunker down. I'm gonna bring Natalia up here. So that's a, a better spot. And she's just gonna chill because she can't reach anybody from here. Yeah, so she's just gonna chill. Switch over to him. He's going to go over Mjolf. He's also going to hunker down. Just in case. Because they're probably going to come towards us. Because they know that we're here. So. Yeah. Better to be safe than sorry. Oh god. Snipers are annoying. They always just set up camp. And like wait. Okay. Okay. Well, um, hmm. he could reach that guy. Talia still can't really hit anybody from where she is right now. Hmm. Well, ow. That's fine. We'll just chill here. Um, actually, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and repair his stuff. Might as well before he leaves. Okay, then he can come over here. Snipers don't have the extra defense that the shock troopers do, so... I'm gonna bring her over here. It's about as defended anyways. Maybe double shot. Nice! At least we got rid of the sniper. Well, one of them. Okay. No one else can do anything else. Right, okay. Moving on. Okay. Not so bad, not so bad. We're doing pretty okay. Hmm. We can move forward and stab that guy. It's probably for the best. Alright. Knife attack. Stab him. We need a better knife. Okay. Um. We can just shoot the sniper guy. Although we can also shoot the shock trooper and just get rid of him. It's not going to kill the sniper anyways. We'll just get rid of the shock trooper. Ah, oh, damn. We tried. Um, reload, actually. Your position's pretty okay, but reloading is probably wise. I'm going to put him over here. You can shoot the sniper. Doesn't quite kill him, but that's okay. This is probably going to hurt in the next turn, but that's alright. It happens. Ow. I was hoping he wasn't going to shoot Natalia. 
Nice. Nice. Ooh. No, don't attack. Okay, I was about to say, please don't attack Natalia. She's the worst defense. Alright. Stop running away. I'm going to punch you. Pawn. Perish. Okay. That's a shock trooper, though. There is no defense if I send him up here. There's a wall over there, but I won't be able to reach that guy even if I do. Hmm. I'm gonna put him up here. You can't stab him from here, but you can, like, dink him a little. I'm gonna have her shoot just that guy. And do we want to use the med kit? We can use the med kit. We're just gonna kill ourselves. Just because I need Natalia to not accidentally die because she's the only, like, major healer. Because, like, Omar, right? Omar can heal, but, like, not as much as Natalia can. And, like, I need someone other than, like, shotgun bros to, <laughs> to be on the team. <laughs> okay, good. Missed. Ow. I need Omar to fix, uh, Terry Era? Yeah. I need Omar to fix his armor. I'm gonna put him over here. Take it. I can have him move forward and stab this guy. I'm just gonna get out of cover, but that's okay. Can we get him with just one stab? Yes. Excellent. Alright, perish. I'm sending her forward. Okay. Do they shoot anybody from here? No. That's okay. We'll reload. I'm like super cautious, at least I try to be when it comes to this kind of game. Ah. Annoying. Alright. Um Can't do anything from there. I'm gonna have to take one for the team, fam. Ow. Okay. You can't use repair kit anymore, which is unfortunate. You can't move. I suppose you could use first aid on yourself, so you don't have to worry about it anymore. Sure. Okay. You are gonna go up here, and you're gonna shoot this guy. Alright. Hey, you guy! Bonk. <laughs> Taking a risk. Alright, double shot. Nice. Alright. This guy's not dead yet, but that's okay. Natalia's gonna get shot. Yeah, that's alright. Something we can't handle. Can you shoot him here? Nice. Awesome. Alright. Cool. Alright, moving on. Or, no, wait, rewards. <laughs> Loading. Give it a minute. Okay. Ooh. No. Oh, fuck. I want light armor. Give me things that I can use for my characters. This is a new nice knife. I was literally talking about that just a second, just a second ago. As the last shot dies away, the villagers cautiously emerge from their huts. The village elder thanks you profusely. Then he points despondently at the village well. The soldiers destroyed our well. Help us, or our livestock will die of thirst. You peer into the well shaft and realize that it has been blown up by a German hand grenade. Jesus. Well, we can repair the well. Natalia nods and starts giving orders. Support beams are hauled into place. Winch is installed and the well is dug out again. It is not long before the well is at least operational again. The village elder is overjoyed. We are deeply in your debt. Take this gift as a token of our gratitude. 
The foreign soldiers searched for it without success, but we gave it to you gladly. We gave it to you gladly. Well, what is it? Ooh. Ooh, Valkyrium. Literally, we were just talking about this. Oh, it's an offhand arm item that just enhances pistol crit chance. That's pretty cool. I'll take that. Continue. Thanks. What? As you're about to leave, an old, dignified-looking man approaches, chanting a strange prayer. You're not sure what to make of it, but you feel inspired and stronger than ever. Cool! <laughs> Alright. And everyone's leveled up, I think. Yeah, this is just an offhand, so it would just go in the item slot, wouldn't it? Yeah. That's cool and all, but, like, I still would prefer to just use the, the bandage. It's more useful to me. At least for Natalia, he can actually, like, use it, you know? I'm pretty sure there are some characters, though, that can, like, only use the pistol. I'm pretty sure there's at least one character that's like that. So, like, I can probably give the, the crystal to them. But, yeah, nicer knife. Yeah. Okay, I don't need this, then. Let me just... I'm going to send the valuables. So I don't need that. A worn peacoat is not as good as the leather jacket. So I'm probably going to send this to valuables as well, because there's no point in holding on to that. We can't use it on our current characters, but that's okay. Totally fine. Um, what am I doing? Right, skill tree. Is it skill tree? Do we use skill tree yet, or no? Level up. Yeah, we just need to click the thing. I remember now. Okay, so. Knife damage. Shotgun damage. Shotgun accuracy. I kind of want to increase his knife damage, actually, because he's really good with, like, stabbing. You know? Oh, what does this do? Yeah, just the vitality increase. Neat. Okay. Yeah, and it'll only last until the end of this specific adventure. Hmm. It's like a... a permanent decision to decide on what your skill specialization thing is. So... But that's five damage as compared to three damage. And, like, having extra shotgun damage is useful, even against the guys who don't, like, take a whole lot of shotgun damage. And, like, some of the knives later on are really, like, stabby, you know? And, like, we can get the shotgun armor shredding later. Or we can increase its range later. I think getting the extra five damage is probably a good choice. Okay, closed. And, like, accuracy isn't something that I'm super concerned about with the shotgun. Right. Agility, dexterity, or vitality. Agility's great. Agility is the one that move per turn. Yeah, getting her to be able to move around a lot is helpful. Dexterity, her just better aim, improved hit probabilities. That is useful, though, in vitality, which is just health, right? Mm, dexterity m might be better, though. Better aim, improved hit probabilities. Yeah, actually, dexterity's probably better. Yeah, because Conskirm. <laughs> Confirm skill choice. I'm, like, combining so many words today. Okay. Let's see. Okay, this is just an ability one. So, crippling attack. The target to lose 75% movement range for two turns. Move to an adjacent position up to two tiles away. Action to trigger ambushes. Does not use any action points, but does cost one bravery point. I'm gonna use this one, actually. Because that's pretty useful. Yeah. Dash is a good one. Okay. Yeah. This this is fine. Alright. We'll go over here. I'm probably gonna end the stream after we finish the adventure. That's what I'm thinking. Just so that I'm not here for, like, super long. Because I have been here for, like, a hot second. The adventures take a while to get through. At least the way that I play it. Alright. An old officer appears over the next dune. All the dried blood is making you feel uneasy, and you move on. Cool. I'm <laughs> just gonna ignore that. Ooh, there's a, a market thing over there. Okay. A structure in the distance turns out to be a tattered Nazi tent. Nothing of value remains, and you leave. Cool. <laughs> it is easy just to go around over that way anyways, so... We'll we'll make our, our rounds over there once we're done up here. But first... um, Yeah, we'll just go here. We don't need to go that way. We don't have a lot of extra fuel anyways, so... Better to be safe than sorry. Ooh. You stop at the sight of a Wehrmacht jeep, parked on the ridge of a dune. 
Warily, you sneak closer. As you peer over the ridge, you spot a unit of German soldiers. Overseen by their officer, they are working on a pyramid, the tip of which protrudes a few feet from the desert sand. The pyramid is glistening black. It looks like it is made of solid obsidian. The soldiers have not noticed you yet. Ooh. Ooh. Or we can just ambush them. Ooh, but I wanna... Ah. Always take the gamble. I'm curious. After some time, you hear loud shouts. The officer pushes his soldiers excitedly aside and makes strange gestures in the air. Moments later, a passage opens in the side of the Black Pyramid. The soldiers proceed into the structure in single file. The passageway closes behind them. Oh no. How do we get in? Shoot! <laughs> ah! The gamble didn't pay off. When you finally get closer, you cannot see the slightest hint of a passageway or opening mechanism in the pyramid wall. We probably wouldn't have been able to get in anyways. Unfortunate. Oh well, whatever. Withdraw. That's fine. It happens. Bummer. Oh well. Alright. You find no trace of the inhabitants of the sprawling farm. Instead, you find that a Wormock unit has taken up lodging here. Do you want to risk an attack? Absolutely. <laughs> Always risk the attack. This game is just straight up murder to murder, and I stand by that. Okay. There's five people. Two guys in there. One guy over there. Another dude there. And the other dude's over here. Okay, cool. Um. <laughs> bad positioning. Not the best. Um. Hmm. Um. We could just go straight up. But. It's quite the risk to take. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna put him here. I'm gonna put her over here. I'm just gonna put him there. Alright. Just as a precaution. You never know with these starting positions, man. It's a hazard. Um, can I get him with this? What? Oh, sorry. I'm getting I'm getting text messages from my brother-in-law. All right, uh, stuff about screaming. I'm not gonna <laughs> focus on that right now. I have other things to worry about. All right. Hey. Oh, excellent. Perish. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna send her over here. There's only one guy to shoot. Bonk. Okay. No defense there. I guess I'll just put him here. It's fine. I can have him just hunker down. It's chill. They're all together, so that helps. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I can get him to dash out of the way or anything. Does he hunkered down before? Um. Hmm. I'll just use that. It's fine. Okay, we're gonna repair our own stuff. Do we need to give him, like, health help? No, not at the moment. We cannot shoot anybody else from this current position, but we can still shoot this guy, so I'm gonna do that. Ah, oh, you fucker. Rude. Alright, we're just gonna reload. Okay. This is a shock trooper, that's unfortunate. Um. We could do with getting rid of that sniper. It means we're gonna be completely out of cover if we go over here. But it should be. A guarantee to take him down. So, you know. I'd rather just take the risk and get rid of the sniper at this point. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Okay, that's fine. Totally chill. It's alright. I'm gonna use him to fix her armor first. I can't do much of anything else with him. 
don't know if I can just get him to dash, but it, it's only like two away, so it's not going to help him a whole lot. Uh, use his first aid on himself. Just to get a little bit of extra health. You know? That's just troopers. This one has more health, though. You can still hit him from there. Go over here. Okay. Ah, damn. <laughs> okay. Um. Go over here. Nice. All right. That's something at least. Nice. All right. That guy's just chilling over there. Can he get out? <laughs> he should be able to. Whack. All right. Um. A bit spooky. But you know, I'm gonna send Natalia over here. And just bonk. Right, he's out of ammo. That's unfortunate. Um, but it's not like he really needs to get more ammo. So just run over here. Stab. All right. <laughs> get rid of him real fast. He's a shock trooper, though, so this is going to be slightly problematic. <laughs> so send him over here. It's fine. You can whittle away at him just a little. Bonk. Okay. It's chill. <laughs> Ow. I could probably get away with doing this. Alright, go over here. Paunch! Bonk. I'll start sending him this way. Just in case things go very wrong. It shouldn't, but still. I'll send her over here. She should be able to just finish it with this. Right? Or do we want to just punch him? Because we can do that. Uh, it's not guaranteed. I don't want to risk it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm not really into taking <laughs> risks in here. It's a little bit spooky. So, no. Nah. We have all the items. Ooh, a nice pistol. Take. Yoink. Done. Just better than your current one? Yes. Look at this. Look how nice. Ooh, its range is increased. Better crit damage. More armor shredding. Fantastic. I like it. Excellent. Just gonna get rid of this. Send the valuables. Bonk. Cool. Alright, we're gonna go up here just to see if anything pops up. Ah, oh, fuck. It's one of these places. Before you lies an eerie moonscape, the banks of a salt lake. You step out carefully and onto the salt crystals, but the ground creaks and crackles alarmingly under your boots. It's no use. You will have to travel around the salt lake. Yeah, minus one fuel. Unfortunate. Happens sometimes, though. Alright. Now we can go over here. Everyone's health can be restored. That's nice. Alright. An old well stands in the shade of some ruins. You examine it and discover, to your astonishment, that it still holds water. Do you want to set up camp here? Sure. It's not like it's a really costly thing to do. Yeah, current health replenished, and everyone's revived. Okay, done. Everything's fine. There are revival mechanics in this, but only, like, to an extent. Where it's, like, uh, a couple of turns after the, the round, basically, where you had to fight and your character, like, perished. You have a couple of turns after that to revive them. Otherwise, they will die permanently. <laughs> okay, so just getting that out there so that you understand. But the Grim-Faced Nomads have no time for pleasantries. Believe me, the previous owners of these grenades have no more use for them. Uh, we can get some grenades, but it basically just ups our supplies, really. So it's not like grenades specifically. Um, do we want that? We're a bit low on supplies. I don't want to spend a whole lot, though. I'll just get two. That's fine. Alright. Not the best, like, trek over here. Let's continue. We're already rested. 
We're a bit low on fuel now, so that's a bit hazardous, but hopefully we'll make it. If we don't, it's fine. Like, this was just the very first go-through. Like, I feel like it's really hard to actually succeed through the entire thing on your very first go. Alright. You see a lot of tire tracks in the sand in front of the lonely desert temple, so you enter carefully and with weapons drawn. Cool. Hopefully there's fuel here. Your prudence pays off! In a temple chamber, you take a lane sentry by surprise. You quickly disarm him. Oof. Alright. You question the soldier about his mission, but the man is not inclined to help you. Just you wait. Sooner or later, my comrades will be back, and then we can all talk together. Sure. If this leads to a fight, that's fine. You bind and gag the soldier before searching the temple chamber, but the soldiers who were here before you were very thorough. You find nothing of value. You leave the temple, disappointed. That's valuable. We need more fuel, man. <laughs> and this is a better repair kit. What are you talking about? Not valuable. Your definition of valuable is very different from mine. <laughs> okay, there we go. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, we got a little bit of extra fuel, and we got a better repair kit for Omar. Excellent. The detachment of soldiers in the ruins ahead of you are completely unaware of your approach. An attack is the last thing they expect. Then attack them. Okay. Where are they? There's only four of them. This is a small fight. Alright. Two dudes there. One dude over there. Another dude over there. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Okay, we want to get rid of this guy. Like, pretty quickly. Um, there's no really good defense areas here, so I'm just gonna put him over here. Let's get rid of this guy. Bonk. She can reach that guy from here. <laughs> Probably not super likely that she'll hit him, but you know. Might as well try. Ooh, nice. <laughs> I'm gonna put Omar over here. Just to be safe. Can I reach him from here? I can. Bonk. Alright. Yeah, just chill out there. Alright. Fast. Ow. Okay. Um... Can't reach him from there. Unfortunate. We can get him from here. Which will help. Bonk. Nice. Alright, cool. Uh, we'll go over here. And, like, it won't hurt him much, but we can still bonk that guy a little. Just whittle away at his health. I'm going to start sending Omar in this direction, I think. Right? Yeah. At the very least, I'm going to put him over here. Does she need... No. Not really. We can repair our own. Might as well. Okay. In turn. Oh. Hmm. Okay, well. He is right there. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to stab him. Knife attack. Yeah, that's fine. Yoink. Cool. Man, these guys were not prepared to deal with this. <laughs> I'm just gonna send her out, straight up. Alright. Ah, fuck. It just ups the chance of, like, something actually happening, so... It's not going to reach him, and it does it immediately instead of doing it from, like, a waiting perspective. I'll just have him sit here, and whoever gets shot will end up getting healed by him. <laughs> okay. That's fine. 
Alright, first aid. Bonk. There we go. She can sort this out, it's fine. Well. <laughs> Alright. Shouldn't have gone there, guys. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Sorry, I get, like, really quiet when we go through those areas. <laughs> I've noticed that. Yes, fuel, take. And bandages, which are as good as what we have currently, so who cares? <laughs> Alright. The large detachment of soldiers in the ruins ahead of you did not think it necessary to set up guards, as they clearly feel secure in their numerical advantage. Cool. More attacking. I feel like I get really focused in trying to think of, like, what the strategy is for this, so I get really distracted while I'm trying to figure out where everybody goes, so I'm kind of just, like, murmuring to myself. Six dudes. Alright, two there, two there, the other two over there. Okay, that's all pretty close together. They're pretty clumped. Alright, um, they don't know that we're here, so we have some advantage here. Okay. That's a sniper. We want to get rid of the snipers quickly. Nazi troopers, Nazi trooper, Nazi trooper, and another sniper. Okay. Well. Just jump over here. We'll just shoot this guy. Bonk. Okay. Um. We can't really have her shoot anywhere, really, up there. I'm gonna have Omar go over here. He's gonna shoot this guy point blank, <laughs> like, as it was gonna happen. There we go. Cool. It'd be shocking if he survived that. I'm gonna send Natalia further up for it. Okay. Yeah, and we can't shoot anybody from here, so we're just going to end the turn and wait. Ow. Ow. Do you have to do that? I don't know if I can go over here. That's so annoying. Ow. Nice. That was good. <laughs> good job. Okay. Um can't really do anything right now, so reload, I guess. Okay, she could do with some armor, really. Although, no, nah, we can't take him out in one shot anyway, so I'm just gonna move him over here to try and help these guys out. We are running out of supplies, but it's still important to try and keep our, our stuff up as much as we can. Oh, hey. An achievement. Nice. I'm gonna move him over one, just so he has a little bit of extra defense. <laughs> Alright. Ow. Ow. Okay. This is fine. Can she shoot both of them from here? Yes. Okay, good. We're gonna take that risk. Try it. Got that one. Alright, that's fine. Can't use that can use the thing again, so use the repair kit once more. <laughs> it's probably worth it, honestly. Oh. Cool. Um. She can't really do anything else. She can heal herself, but we're gonna be running by some healing places anyways, so it's not super important. I mostly did it earlier just so that I didn't have to risk her dying. We can just go over and shoot this guy point blank. There we go. Cool. <coughs> okay. Steal all the items. Find a disintegrator to unlock Bellamy. Right. We got a disintegrator. Cool. 
More supplies. Better healing thing. That's nice. Done. Cool. Uh, is this... This is better than the one that we have right now. Cool. We'll use that. We'll hold on to this. Give it to someone else who actually wants to use it. But we are going to switch this out. Bonk. Get rid of these. Okay. And we will hold on to these. It's not going to be as good as using the pistol. So I'm going to keep the pistol. But, you know. We'll hold on to the, the nicer disintegrator. We can give it to Bellamy. Because his baseline one is okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> At the edge of a dried up water hole, you find the remains of a soldier clutching a bulky bundle. As you approach, you notice strange movement under the soldier's uniform. Several hairy, fist-sized spiders crawl out slowly. Horrified, you step back. Ooh, survivalist. Stop and think. Oh. I don't know if I'm saying his name right whenever I say it. Periera thinks for a moment. Pereira? Pereira. I don't fucking know. It bothers me that I don't know how to pronounce his name. Whatever. He thinks for a moment. Then he starts to dig under one of the palm trees. Eventually, he pulls out a strange root, which he rubs all over his hands and forearms. An acrid smell fills your nostrils. When he returns to the corpse, the spiders recoil and scuttle away. Tarantulas hate this smell. What a whack thing to know. Fuel, yes, excellent. Is that a better shotgun? Nice. Okay. Who should have the better shotgun first? That's the real question. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna give it to him. He tends to be uh, a bit more forward, anyways, so it's it's fine. It's the same as the other ones. We're just gonna get rid of this one because it's just the baseline shotgun. Okay. Um. Should we go heal or should we just go forward immediately? All right. Why don't we get from here? No. Pistol accuracy. Pistol damage. Med kit heal amount. I think the med kit amount is fine. Pistol accuracy would be nice. Firm skill plus. The more we're guaranteed to actually like hit when we shoot, the better. Okay. Assault rifle, assault rifle, shotgun crit. Shotgun magazine size would be nice. Because, like, I know I can give him the assault rifle, but I do really prefer him just being a shotgun bro, you know? Shotguns are pretty good in here, I feel. So, do we want to go down first, or do we want to go up? Because we can just come back here later. Because we don't have a lot of fuel right now, and, like, no one's health is super bad. So yeah, we're just we're just gonna continue. We're not going to do the boss thing yet, which is what that is. We're gonna go down. All right. You find the ancient walls of an abandoned temple. Lonely and majestic, the building rises from the endless desert sands. What secrets might it conceal? Okay. Well, we have the ancient languages one. The stairwell into this holy place is almost entirely clogged with sand. You squeeze down through the half-buried passageway and finally arrive in an intersection. Omar studies the hieroglyphics on the wall. The throne room is on the right. Cool. After endless steps, you finally enter a magnificent throne room. Behind the strange throne, you find a massive marble chest. Sweat pours from your brows as you lift the heavy lid. It's probably not fuel, which is unfortunate, but it's nice valuables that go for a decent amount of cash. Which benefits us even if everyone dies in the desert. <laughs> okay. Ow. My spine hurts! Ah. I haven't done my exercises in the past couple of days, and that's entirely my fault. Okay. The ancient building in front of you has taken some rough treatment. Decorative elements have been thrown carelessly to the floor. The door has been forced open. Could the perpetrator still be inside the temple? A short time later, you sneak up on a squad of soldiers. They remain oblivious to your approach, as they are tapping on the walls of the temple's main hall. Ambush your enemies. Yes. <laughs> Always choose fight. Never flight. <laughs> okay. There's only four of them. 
It's whatever. They're both on both sides. Okay, this is fine. Uh, so let's go. Stay there. Not that it matters. They're going to be moving forward anyways. Um, how do I reach them? How do I reach these geese? Uh, sorry. <laughs> that is the fence, but also we can actually hit him from here. So I'm going to send him forward over here. Hello! Bonk. Okay. Can we hit anybody from here? We can hit that guy. We can hit both of these guys. If we go here. Okay. Boop. Boop. <laughs> that killed- straight up killed that one guy. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna over here, go over here and punch this dude. We're not even gonna use our gun. Bonk. <laughs> Uh, we'll just wait here. <laughs> it's fine. We have some defense. Even if it's on the opposite side, the wall still helps. Oh, he's going for... Oh, no. Omar still. That's fine. Okay. Do we want to fix our armor? Not right now. We don't have a lot of supplies, and this will probably end fast. Mm, 63%. Give it a shot. Ah, oh, fuck. Unfortunate. That's alright. Where do I go? I should have moved her first. Oh well, whatever. He can go over here and shoot him, though. Will you succeed? Yes. Excellent. Cool. Reload. That one was faster than the rest. It was much easier than the other ones. Okay. Fuel? No. Damn. I am running out. Not great. Is this another shotgun? Better shotgun. Although it decreases the range, which is unfortunate. Uh, he would have to get closer. I don't really want to take down any more range than we already have. Uh, I'll think about it. I'll hold on to it for now. We're going to go here first, because if we can purchase some fuel, that'd be great. So then we can get some more to go over there. Okay. Fuel, yes. Oh, here. Uh, you can take these. Cool. How much supplies do we have? Not much. I'm gonna take these too. Thanks. Okay, I'm not gonna purchase any of this armor, because I think we're okay at the moment. It's fine. Yeah. Okay, this is fine. Done. Cool. Alright, moving on. Now we have enough fuel to head over here real fast, I think. Like, one, two, three. We'll be cutting it real close, really. Like, uh, do we want to risk going over there? Mm -hmm. I really want to, but I just spent all that money on fuel, though. I could just do that. Sure. All right. We'll explore this little section, and then we'll go back. Okay. The buildings ahead of you are part of a simple supply station. We can get more gas. Ooh, but it's expensive. <sighs> mm -hmm. Fuck it. Go for it. I want to explore more. Alright. We continue. As you walk around the walls of the temple complex, you are spotted by an enemy sentry who sounds the alarm. You have startled a unit of German soldiers who are resting here. Gasp. Okay. Oh, dogs are here. Okay, so two dogs, two shock troopers. The troopers over there. Um. I'm gonna put him there. I'm gonna put her here. Put her there. Okay. As long as they're guarding this Halia, she's more at risk. Okay. Okay. Wait, who can she shoot? Okay. This 
fine. This is okay. Um. Oh, for fuck's sake. God damn it. Alright, that's annoying. Okay. This is fine. I don't think she really needs to do anything. We'll reload, though. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and wait. Hang on. So let me pull up a setting real fast. Because I know that this can be, a, like, a little bit sad. We're gonna do dog-friendly mode real fast. So it, it disables the the hit die sounds, because I know that it's a little bit depressing, and the dogs disappear instead of dying during combat. <laughs> okay, confirm the changes. Alright, return to the game. I don't think it's going to count for this round, so it's still going to be there, but you're just going to have to deal with it for like a second. Okay. Like, Alright. Yeah, moving forward. Reload. Just reload. Okay. I'm moving forward a little bit. Okay. Ow. That's fine. Shank. Cool. <coughs> Alright. It's getting dark, guys. Oh, a health place. What? You know. You know, Jack, that bell? Hang on. What's up? Why are you hiding? Uh. Yeah, I don't want to see you about your better spot. Okay. I have bells that I put on my, my miniature Christmas tree that I finally moved out from behind my desk. And um, I kept one of them here <laughs> in the room instead of putting it away with the rest of the Christmas decorations that are being put away. And I left it out because uh, Mal, the small cat that we own, is uh, <laughs> into attacking it. So it's her new toy. You know. Hello. You know. You know. Come on, you can come back out. You're fine. You know. Yeah, she's getting a bit antsy. I guess she probably wants to leave the room in a minute. Hang on a minute now. Play with your bell. You're fine. Okay. You reach a waterhole surrounded by palm trees and some dry scrub. Apart from a few old hoof prints, you see no further signs of activity. The cloudy water smells stale, but that was to be expected. This would be a suitable place for a break. Do you want to camp here? Yes. Let's get everyone's health up. Hey, Mo. What you doing? You still under the desk? Did you move? Where are you? Okay. Okay. You pitch camp and oil your weapons to protect them from the ubiquitous, ubiquitous desert sand. A quick nap works wonders. After a simple meal, you set off again, reinvigorated. Cool. You know, you chillin'? You could've been talking. Yeah, she's getting antsy. Play with your bell. You know. You can play. You have some toys over there. You can play. You're fine. You're fine. You can just catch my hand. Good for you. Okay. A lonely desert temple rises from the dunes ahead of you. The entrance is half buried, but you manage to squeeze through. 
Inside, you find a squad of German soldiers around an improvised excavation site. You are spotted immediately, and the enemy soldiers open fire. Cool. Okay, where is everybody? There's five of them. And all over there. That's fine. Totally acceptable. This is a nice position. I'm gonna put them here. Over there and put him there. Okay. Okay. This is fine. Um. This is a risky move, but, you know. Go for it. Bonk. Cool. Okay. We can try and shoot that dude from here, so... Nice. Alright. Um... Yeah, hunker down. Miss. What are these guys? Are they just normal? Yeah, they're just normal troopers. Good. It would be annoying if they were snipers. But they're not. Hi, Mel. I know you're there. Give me a minute. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you out. I know that that's what you're hoping for. Oh, I didn't realize that was Omar. Lol. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. Um, What can he do right now? So if I put him here, can't he, like, do this? If I'd put him in a different spot, he probably could have gotten to those guys, but he cannot. I'll shoot this guy. Omar could shoot this guy. Ah, Omar. Unfortunate. Whatever. Alright, come here. Okay. Double shot. Nice. Not dead, though. Unfortunate. Hi, Mel. What's up? You wanna come over? I know. I don't have my camera up, so you can't see it, but Mal came over to visit. She wants pets. I know. You come here. Come on. Come here. Come here, Alfie. Hello. Oh, be careful. Don't fall off. That'll be bad for both of us. I know. Hi. Oh. Oh, jeez. Don't fall, please. That would hurt. How is everybody? Everyone's doing okay. We could do with some repairing, though. I'm gonna do that. Repair kits for both of them. Okay. Uh, where can Natalia go? I can put her over here. If she can take down the shock trooper with her bullets. Great. Okay. Then we can take him over here. Maybe you can just stab the other dude. Okay. Come on. There we go. I know. I know. I know. You hear her? I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> she's not in pain or anything. I just picked her up and she's mad about it. I know. I know. She was purring a second ago. <laughs> She'll get over it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pets. 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 Nice kitten. Oh, don't bite. Don't bite them. That's mean. Alright. Anyways. <laughs> she wants to leave. Hang on. Let me open the door for the small cat. Give me a second. Come on, honey. Come on. I know you want to go. Sorry. <laughs> the cats hang out in here sometimes. Alright, back to the map. Anyways, moving on. Let's 
Loot. Thanks. Done. Okay. Do I want to go up? I think I have the, the space to work with to go up now. So we might as well. Just to get a bit of an extra chance for stuff. Sorry, but you won't find Morton here. <laughs> the voice comes from somewhere in the shadows of the abandoned house you are about to search. Alarmed, you draw your weapons, but the stranger who appears in the doorframe merely waves nonchalantly. Surely you wouldn't shoot an innocent man. Perhaps I should introduce myself. Agent Cooper of the SIS. Morton was working for our organization. He was looking into the matter of the Armenian collection. Sorry. <clears throat> it looks like he managed to break into the Nazi office in Casablanca, but he doesn't seem to have gotten very far. I'm afraid that's the last I heard from him so we have no idea what he might have found. Does the wrath of God mean anything to you? No? Well, perhaps that was too much to hope for. Just between us? I think perhaps we can forget all hope of seeing Morton alive again. But please, don't let me dash your youthful optimism. With these words, Agent Cooper climbs into his car. With a curtain on, he speeds off into the distance. <laughs> cool. Thanks, Cooper. <laughs> it was an entirely unnecessary bit of information. You cannot miss the Wormach vehicles at the edge of the ruined village, so you approach with care. In the village square, you see a goat herd surrounded by a large unit of German soldiers. You cannot make out what's going on, but the mood is tense. Attack! <laughs> okay. Oh, six. There's already four there. They're all down here. Okay, cool. Um... I see what's coming? I forgot to look at the thing. There's always the thing that says, like, is this an ambush or not? And I always forget. Wait, will it say it on the stream again so I can just look at that? Advantage. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So we should have the next turn. I think. I'm gonna put him right there. Put you right there. Put him there. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna shoot this guy. <laughs> Dead immediately. And I'm gonna put him over here. She won't have the best cover over there, but it'll be some cover and she can shoot two guys at once. Get rid of the sniper if you can. Both snipers. Aim for them. Excellent! Good job, Natalia. That was useful. <laughs> I think I will take Omar over here, and I'm just gonna have him hunker down. I think that's probably for the best. Okay. Nice. <laughs> that's less nice. <laughs> Moderately irritating. Okay. Well. Um. Yeah, let's just try to move. Fine. We can't reach. Well, no, we can reach this guy. Go for it. You tried. <laughs> it's fine. Let's send him over here. Bonk. Cool. Send Natalia over here. Just so that she has more range. Do we want to go for the sniper first? It's a guarantee kill if we go for him. Alright, get rid of the sniper. He's annoying. <laughs> Please don't shoot Natalia. Ow. <laughs> Damn. Alright, well. <laughs> it's fine. Not super surprising. I'm just gonna have her heal herself. We have some supplies. It's fine. Alright. Bonk. He cannot heal himself. But he can do a bit of his stuff. Oh, wow. Okay, what is that? Shiny FL. Oh, whack. Okay, I didn't realize that was a thing that you could do just in the middle of the round. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, bonk. Learn something new every time you play a new game. It's not really a new game. <laughs> Got it in, like, early December. When the Yogg's Cast Jingle Jam started. Got it in the bundle. Okay, done. Okay. Oop. 
After the sound of battle subsides, the nomad reappears from behind the rocks where he was taking cover. He thinks you effusively in an unfamiliar language. <laughs> Omar understands what he's saying. You do not understand a word of the nomad dialect the man speaks. Omar utters a few guttural words and the man's face lights up. They engage in an animated conversation punctuated with signs and gestures. I'm not sure I understood him correctly, but I think he's telling us about a sacred site not far from here. Seek the holy place. Go forth. Ah, oh, bummer. Alright, you bid the grateful nomad farewell and follow his directions. Sometime later, you reach a rock formation. At its summit, a small spring flows from a small nook in the in the rock. Brain words. Simple offerings indicate that travelers stop here occasionally. Unfortunate. Whatever. Inspect the spring. Health replenished. You take a look around the summit, but do not find anything of importance. The offerings are wilted flowers and crude, worthless clay statuettes. Rude. You drink from the spring and then continue your journey, refreshed and in unusually good spirits. Cool. Okay, we should have enough to get over to the, the final place, I think. You reach the outer buildings of a small settlement. A surprise awaits you at the center of the village. It's a brand new jeep! Oh. <laughs> An ill-tempered looking man stands beside the vehicle. I gave a dozen good camels for this worthless heap of junk. Shame be on my head. Something is wrong with the jeep. Perhaps this is an opportunity for you? Buy gasoline. How much gasoline? Soon reach an agreement. The man sells you all his gas at a reasonable price. Right. Okay. Well. Oh, I should have checked. We have enough supplies and enough ammo. I'm going to sell that. Just to be safe, I'm going to take one extra fuel because I'm a little bit concerned. I'm going to sell these as well, I think. I don't really want them. Hmm. Wait. Um, is this better than what we have right now? Yes. Cool. Level up. Um, throw bait. Warning shots. Place a chemical area reserve during the next turn. Ooh. We have other people who already do bait, and bait's decent, but only for specific situations. Warning shots can be used on anything. So, confirm that skill choice. Close. Okay. We can sell this. I don't need it. Done. We'll leave it at that. Okay. We do have enough right now, right? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> okay, we can make our way back. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Places we've already been to, unless it's like a rest area, is like just going through without any like dialogue or anything. Rest up just to make sure that all of our health is fine. Like, I know we went to the spring, but I'm paranoid. Okay. Well, we don't have to go to that one now, so that's nice. <laughs> We have just enough fuel to get our way over there. <laughs> We're not going to make it far with the fuel left, I know. But we don't have to make it that much farther, because we're already at the end. We might actually be able to get through and finish the boss fight and everything on this. Okay, so. You see the fortified base of the excavation regi uh, regiment southwest on the valley plain ahead. You have finally reached your goal. As you are considering how to make it through the heavily guarded entrance... You suddenly spot a lone Wormach jeep approaching your vehicle. You hide behind the rocks and wait for the patrol to disembark. Then you take them by surprise and tie them up. <sighs> Sorry. A short time later, you drive into the German camp wearing borrowed uniforms. The bored-looking sentry waves your Wormach jeep through with barely a glance. So far, so good. Disguised as German soldiers, you search the camp complex. Morton must be here somewhere. Your hearts race as you pass unnoticed through the crowds of enemy soldiers. You suddenly notice a small motorcade setting off. As it drives past, you spot Morton in one of the cars. You immediately jump into your captured jeep and tag on to the end of the convoy as it exits the camp and heads into the desert. After a few miles, the convoy stops at a smaller auxiliary base. You see Morton being led away. You don't have much time. Your friend's execution is imminent. Suddenly, you hear a shout. You have been discovered. You look at each other with grim determination and load your weapons. This is it. Hmm. 
getting tired. Well, um, it's a good thing we're about to end the stream. All right. Let's see. Ooh, how many dudes? Eight. Okay, so there's three dudes here. Five dudes over there. Two of the three dogs over there. Nope. There's three of the dogs. There's only five. Where's the sixth dude? What? There's a sixth dude, isn't there? No, I'm I'm my brain. <laughs> I'm dumb. Leave me alone. It's fine. Okay, no. So that's five dudes over there. T three dogs over here. Okay, 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 okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah, enemy turn first, so best to be careful. Got medics and everything, which is hazardous. Okay. Wow. Oh wow, I have not seen the animation of the dogs just disappearing like that. That's nice. <laughs> I understand why they call it like <laughs> dog safe mode, basically. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna reload. That took two shots. Alright, um, we could head over here and take two shots at those guys. The officer is unfortunate because he allows people to go twice. It would be better if I had her over here though. Okay, I'm gonna risk her going over there instead. Okay, we can do double shot here. We have 100% chance for the officer. Mm. We have the chance of taking out the dog. Ah. Okay, that's fine. Alright, we're gonna take Omar over here. This is where things get serious. We're not hitting anyone else with that, so it's pointless. We'll just hit him with this. Bonk. Through the officer immediately. He allows the characters to go two rounds. I really don't want that to be happening. <coughs> Ow. Ow. Nice. Dog's just going completely around. Um, we want to get rid of him as soon as possible. It'd be nice if we could just punch him. I mean, I guess you can if you move forward a little bit. Get rid of him. Just bop him over the head. Okay. I'm just going to have to send him over here. He can't do anything right now. Okay, that's fine. Ow. Ow. Oh god. You're in pain. This hurts. <laughs> How can we have double shot right now? Okay, hang on. We're about to end the round anyways. Nice. Okay. Take that. I feel like I'm focusing a lot. Okay, I want you to hunger down. The dog is still over there, so it's still gonna take a second for us to deal with this. Nice, okay. I want you. 
Fuck oh hell, BRB. I got a text. Sorry, I got a text. I'm getting taco hell, apparently. Alright. Use the medkit to heal. Oh, alright. Can we get him from here? An attempt was made. It's fine. Okay. Um. It's gonna take the dog a second to get over here. Alright, can we just get him from here? Get him. Good. We could shoot the dog. That sounds mean. <laughs> it's fine. Alright, get him. Nice. Oh, they just run off. Into the ether. Cool. Woo! Alright. The adventure unlocked. Adventure 2. We finished the thing. Woo! Alright, when the guns finally fall silent and the smoke dissipates, Morton stumbles towards you. It's always good to know you can rely on your friends, although you took your sweet time about it. Shut up, Warden. It took us a while to get here. You won't believe what I got my hands on in Casablanca. Too bad the Nazis took everything. Oh well, maybe another time. Nice. Loot. Better knife! Yes. Excellent. Oh, better sniper rifle, too. Snipers are so shit in this game, I swear. Send about evils. I don't want that. Nice. Better heavy armor. We have two Valkyrian crystals. That's obnoxious. Like, that's too many. Do we need a second one? Disintegrator accuracy. Oh, it changes. Mm. Alright, we'll hold on to them then. Alright, continue. Nice. Alright. Entering excitedly, you stroll back to your jeep. You get in and drive into the setting sun while Morton entertains you with his absurd anecdotes. Excellent. I'm not going to bother reading all of that. It's not like it matters overall anyways. Alright. Awesome. Excellent. Okay. And that's enough. Like, we'll hop in here for a hot second. We have the next one, which is The Wrath of God, and I'll read it properly when we actually go to play it later. We have 3,000 cash in our inventory, which is cool. I'm just in here to look at some stuff. We unlocked Bellamy, which is neat. And we have some stuff in our storage still. All of that stuff's still there. I'm probably going to see about getting, um, what's it, the car storage upgrade, because I know that you can do that. How much is it? It's 5,000. So we're trying to hold out as much as we can with our cash to get 5,000 so we can get another car storage upgrade so we can carry more stuff back. But, yeah, neat. We're, we'll organize what to give to everybody and everything next time. I'm still going to stick with, like, my default dudes to bring with me, just because I feel like they're, they're the best ones, in my opinion, so... So yeah, that'll be next time we come in to play the game some more. So I'm gonna exit the game. Alright. Ow. My back fucking hurts. Ow. I need to do my stretches and my exercises today. I didn't do them yesterday or the day before because I got lazy. <sighs> it ended up being two hours. Alright, that's, that's the average stream time. That's alright. That's fine. Alright. I think I'm doing better at being louder when I talk on stream. I feel like I'm getting a lot more used to it. I'm trying. Like, I know that I mumble every once in a while throughout the stream, but, like, I'm trying my best, guys. Hate to, like, the two viewers that I have, by the way. I don't know if you're, like, consistently watching, but, like, hello. <laughs> no one ever talks when it's just, like, random viewers who pop in here. No one really talks in the chat. You just kind of hop in and are like, hey, and then you don't say anything. And it's just like, cool, glad that you're here. <laughs> It'd be greater if you could actually have a conversation with me. But, you know, I'm glad that there are people here just chilling with me, like, playing the game. We're going to end the stream in a bit. Oh, how'd you like today's quote? Like, I know it's a absolutely uh, My Hero Academia thing. Like, <laughs> that's just the, the fan fictions that I tend to read. There will be more variety in the future. It's just that it's been what I've been reading lately, and I don't have a lot of, like, quotes stocked up and everything. So in the future, I'll get some from, like, other fandoms. But, you know, right now, this is just what I've got. 
So, it is what it is. Anyways, that's that's the end of the stream. I'm gonna figure out what my brother-in-law actually sent me. It was something about uh, screaming for singing stuff, which is cool. I think he's trying to give me advice for um, <laughs> working on our own recordings later on and everything. I need to talk to him about that at some point. Um, but yeah, not right now. Right now, um, I'm gonna probably do my exercises now, actually, because my back really fucking hurts. <laughs> and I'm hoping that that'll help uh, stretch out and like uh, work out the muscles a bit so that they ache a little bit less. I'm also gonna get more water. I'm running out. This was mostly just a lot of narrating and me mumbling as I tried to do all of the strategy stuff. I really like Pathway. Pathway's a fun game, isn't it? I think it's a fun game. <laughs> I enjoy it a lot, actually. I, I take a, a great amount of joy. It's I'm still feeling super awkward using the mouse that I'm using right now, though. Like, I need to get used to using it. It feels weird in comparison to my other one. And, like, I don't think I necessarily needed to switch to my other one. Like, I don't need- I, re I don't think I really need to switch to this one at the moment. I don't really like using it very much. Like, it's not a bad mouse. It's just that it feels weird in comparison to the other one that I'm using, you know? I don't know. Whatever. Maybe I will switch back. Maybe I'll do that right now. Because, like, this one's not bad. It's a good mouse. It's just that it makes me slightly uncomfortable. <laughs> it's because it's, like, less janky than my other mouse, and that's making me uncomfortable with it, you know? I think it's also just, like, the, the mouse sensitivity of this one is, like, too smooth, almost. Like, it's faster than I would like for it to be. Oh god, now I have to open up my mouse with force. Let me in. Open, damn it. Let me in. Ah, god. The, like, latch that actually keeps the mouse, like, open and closed is all wonked out, and I cannot open it with the, the switch anymore, so I have to forcefully pull it open. Okay, let me just plug this back in. I know that this mouse is janky. I know that. It's, wah, it's a fact. I know that, but I prefer this mouse. It's just better to use, in my opinion. Oh god, I'm like... Breaking this mouse. Okay. Man, it feels weird. Switching back and forth between them. It is not <laughs> too similar. Okay, anyways. <laughs> moving on. Distractions. So, I'm gonna go. End of the stream. End of the stream. Okay. <laughs> it's been fun. I think Pathway's a really good game. I enjoyed playing Pathway. I enjoyed doing it for the stream, actually. I think it was pretty chill. Uh, yeah, in the future, probably be a bit better. Oh, news. Um, good news. I have two YouTube channels for all of the videos and stuff that I'm doing. So I'm going to have a VOD one, where it's just straight up the streams, you know? So all of those are going to be stored on Sarah Lynn VODs, like just my name, and then capital V-O-D, and then lowercase s. So you can check that out if you want to just look at all of my VODs for like all of the various uh, streams that I've done for the past like year, vaguely. And... Um, the other channel is the actual, like, main channel kind of thing. So it's just my name. It's just Sarah Lynn. That's it. Yeah, like, spelled how it seems, it is just Sarah Lynn. And, um, yeah, that's it. So you can you can go to those channels if you want. Uh, there's, uh, I'm not super proud of what's on the Sarah Lynn one. They're, like, old streams from a while ago, and I'm not super into them, but they exist. They are there. Um, that was back when I was more into the, the fanfiction, like, community stuff with Sanders sides and everything. Like, that channel that it's on used to be specifically for, like, all of that, and then I changed it. So, you know. Anyways, like, ignore all of the old content, really. Like, <laughs> you can look at it if you want, I don't care. But it's not great, it's just old streams. Um, but yeah, so it's just called Sarah Lynn. it's just my name, and I'm gonna start posting hopefully real soon sometime this week i'm gonna start posting uh some like stream highlights and stuff not like super frequently but i'm mostly gonna make sure that i have all of my art stuff on there so it's going to be like all of my art streams but like compiled together and like sped up a lot so that you can just see all of it as it gets worked through real fast and in way less time than like the 
18 hours of work that I put into every single art project, basically. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, that that's there. If you want to hop onto YouTube, check that out. Um, I'm thinking of getting like a specific Twitter account that's just for my whole like Sarah Lynn thing, you know, because uh, I have a personal Twitter account. But it doesn't relate at all with the name. And I just like rambling, like rambling on there. Just ranting about stuff that's happening in my life. You know? And it feels like weird making that kind of my social media persona. Twitter being my personalized one where I rant about how annoyed I am about like my gender dysphoria and all of that junk. So, yeah, no. I'm probably not going to make that one like my official Sarah Lynn Twitter. That one's there. If you find it, whatever. Like, it is what it is. I don't really care. So... It's there in, like, some of the old stream VODs if you want to peruse through hours and hours of footage to figure out where I told everybody my my Twitter account. And you can check out my Instagram. I might do the same thing that I did on my Instagram with my, uh, my Twitter account. Because, like, technically speaking, the Instagram is also, like, uh, a personal Instagram. But, like, eh, it's, it's Instagram. It's not like I'm posting anything really, like shocking over there twitter is where i just rant at the void so i feel like that feels weirdly more personal like i don't care that people know about it but i guess it just feels weird if i'm trying to do like a media persona or something i don't know i feel like i'm mostly just worried because i don't want my family to know that that twitter exists <laughs> like they already know about my instagram but meh meh <laughs> it's it's whatever you know i don't have a facebook i don't have every social media thing like a snapchat or anything like that i don't use stuff like that that's weird <laughs> it's not for me but what's the instagram again um i was mostly thinking of changing it to having a different one because i didn't want to change the name on my twitter and i'm not gonna bother with my instagram one like um or my my tiktok i guess i can just leave those social media ones as their own like separate name but they're still like attached to me but yeah, um, TikTok and Instagram are ace in need of space. All one word. So, I do piano TikToks. Ding. And sometimes other TikToks. Usually with, like, my cats and stuff. But, like, I haven't done those in a while. It's mostly piano stuff. So I'll, like, record some cool nature stuff. Or just something random that I thought was cool looking around my house. And then some piano background stuff that I did myself. So, check that out if you feel like it. Uh, you can go to my Instagram, also Ace in Need of Space. I don't post a lot on there, it's just pictures of my cats, really. <laughs> so, you know. Ding, that's that's that. Uh, if you want to go and harass me on Twitter, it's, uh, what's it? Sanava the Sneak? Yeah. I'm just gonna leave that as the name. Fuck it. That's just gonna be my Twitter. Like, I don't, I don't want to change it. <laughs> it's boring. Yeah, it's at Sanava the Sneak. You can go find that youtube viewers who may actually be watching or may just be people like wandering through at random but yeah so those are those that's my social media stuff i should really put like a text somewhere on like the stream maybe in the see you later area i can like put it over the top like where my face cam usually is because i don't think there's really a lot there the alert box is there <laughs> so does the chat but i mean if the alert goes over it that's fine oh god I, like, burped wrong. Oh, God. That was bad. That felt bad. Ugh. Gross. Ugh. <laughs> Breathe. Ugh. Okay. Anyways, I gotta go. I have to go take care of the cat litter and go to the bathroom and refill my water bottle. I'm gonna leave. That's the end of the stream. It's been fun. Uh. I don't know what we'll play tomorrow. I'm gonna come back. Hopefully it'll be actually at three instead of almost five. Like... <laughs> I was very late for the stream time today. I apologize. But um, tomorrow I'm going to try and be here actually at 3. So that'll be nice <laughs> if it works out that way. Yeah, I woke up late. Sorry. I had a, I had a really cool dream about uh, back when I was involved with like band and color guard and stuff. It was actually very fun. I got to see a marching band again in my dreams. And it was very, very exciting. I, I'm really into marching bands, actually. That's a, a quiet thing that I'm very intrigued by. Um, but yeah, so... Yeah, I, I slept in. <laughs> I missed the stream time today, but that's okay. But tomorrow I should be on time, hopefully. At least, like, closer to the actual time of, like, 3 o'clock. Instead of some cl time closer to 5. But, um, yeah. We'll be streaming tomorrow. Either way, I will be here. And the day after. 
and for the like the rest of the week really except for maybe saturday and sunday depending on what happens i'm thinking of maybe doing a jigsaw puzzle stream on saturday but we'll see uh but yeah i i don't know if we'll play pathway again tomorrow we might play stardew valley uh maybe we'll play genshin impact i don't fucking know <laughs> it's it's just whatever i feel like playing you know uh i do want to get back to playing assassin's creed black flag so that'll start happening sometime soon i don't know when uh, expect art streams again soon-ish, because I do want to finish the art thing I was working on before, as well as some more stuff, but I do have some stuff I'm working on on the side. I'm gonna try and get back to doing my comic, just, like, once a week episodes of that, so I need to sort out how to do a graphic that shows all of my, like, social medias and other accounts and stuff that you can go and look at, but, um, yeah, so I have a comic called The Slime Life that's on Webtoon, so I'm gonna be working on that again. Just quick status update before we do the stream about, like, various things that are happening in my life. But, um, I also still want to work on the game that I wanted to work on before. It's going to be super long and take forever. So I really need to work on it now before I, <laughs> I eventually run out of time, I guess. I don't really have a time to run out of other than, like, dying, but, you know, still. I don't want it to be, like, ten years from now I finally finish the first game, but whatever. Anyways, so... Yeah, the comic's gonna be worked on, like, slowly but surely. I'm gonna try and be on myself to make sure that I get an episode out every Sunday, so. That'll be fun. I'm I'm excited about it. But outside of that, still art stuff during the week. That's not going to be stuff that's on the art stream, like the comic stuff. Like, maybe separate art for the comic will be on the art stream, but, like, not the actual comic episodes. Just because, um... I don't know, it feels weird having people watch me work on the comic itself. Like, maybe at some point, if people show interest in it, maybe? But, like, meh. Uh, right now, I'm just going to be working on separate art projects on art streams. So, yeah. And right now, I'm still trying to figure out uh, Brenda, my sister's art project thing. I want to finish that up. But, yeah. So, that's plans. I will be here tomorrow. I don't know what we're going to be doing on the stream. It depends on how I feel when I get here. But, um... If we don't do gaming, we'll do art stuff, and if we do do gaming, then, um, I don't know. Uh, I'm, it's either gonna be, like, Stardew, Genshin, uh, Pathway, or, uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, maybe, uh, Concede. I have been feeling kind of in the mood to play that again lately. I'm not sure, though. I, I will see how I feel. But, um, yeah, maybe Concede at some point, sometime soon. So, you know. I always flip-flop around. I do want to get back to playing the Dark Parables games. Maybe I'll play Dark Parables again. Yeah. Maybe I will. Maybe that'll be one of the first ones that I actually edit and post on the main channel. And then once that's done, we can do more Dark Parables stuff. That sounds like a plan. Okay, so... Maybe Dark Parables tomorrow. Who knows? Anyways, I will be here tomorrow. 3 o'clock, uh, EST. So, be prepared for that. I will be around. If it's not... Like, it won't be exactly at 3, just because... Well, it probably won't, because I'm not great at timing. But sometime between 3 and 4, EST, is what I'm aiming for. So, I'll be here tomorrow. And same time for the next few days and stuff. So, I will see you later.